Hi, Colin and Powers. I uh, hope everything's going well with your dog and hoping that, uh, that, that he pulls on through and is super healthy and lives a very long life. Uh, this is your video lesson for today. Um, two things I want to talk about, and if you have any questions at the end or want me to look at anything, feel free to shoot that on over to me. Um, remember, the studio is closed, uh, closed next week um, for the holidays, and I'll see you in the new year. Um, and I'll send an email uh, with all that information, too. The first thing is uh, reviewing those uh, those three string names. Um, we talked about it last time. Excuse me. Um, we have the G string, the B string, and the E string. What I want Powers to do is really know these string names really well. Um, first, start off just by with one, right? So hand behind your back. Which one's the G? Do that repeatedly until this one is burned into his memory that this is the G. When he gets it consistently like every single time, then what you do is you add the second one in and only do B. So which one's B? This one. Which one's B? This one. Do that a lot. There, point the G for accent. The point that G, or sorry, that B a bunch of times. When he can do that consistently without um, without uh, error, um, then you add the two. Something I've noticed over the years in doing this is like, um, I guess when I was a kid, like my teacher would ask me something, right? Like I was like, power's age and I would have like a toy in my hand or something like that and I would never answer it I wouldn't answer correctly um and then what my mom did was she took that toy away and looked at me dead in the eyes like which one like what is the answer to this and I would answer correctly so if I'm distracted or um when I was younger if I was a distracted or something like that I would have a hard time answering correctly just because my mind wasn't there uh so I think we can really focus and do really focus practice on just two of these like right here I think he'll get it I think if he thinks like this right here and, and does this one or names this one, I think he'll be okay. Um, so maybe try that strategy this week is like, say really focused, like powers, look at the strings. Which one's the G string? Look at all three of them, which one's the right one? And do it that way. That'll take kind of like that, um, sometimes like a, our minds wander. Uh, mine does it often. <laughs> So good. So do that for me. Second thing is um, the left hand checklist, making sure that we have a good left hand set up. Let me get my sitting position here so I can all proper. Um, so, so in good proper left hand technique, we have a thumb, right? We have it on that dot that I put on the back of his neck last time. And remember, light towards the ceiling. So when I turn around, my thumb is pointing straight up towards the ceiling right here. We don't want a pokey thumb, and we don't want the thumb creeping over top. If you find that the thumb creeps over the top, what you can do is you can draw like a little frowny face on his thumb, like a you know, sad face or something like that. And I don't want to see the sad face come out because... Oh, so you want him to poke out right there. So you want to you draw like a, a face on his thumb. If you see the thumb poke over the top of the sad face, we don't want that. We want the thumb on the back of the neck pointed towards the ceiling. You got your moon fingers. The moon's all hovering over. You can take like one of the spaceships or something like that. If he's into spaceships, you can try to crash into his fingers and see if you can get past his moons right here. And then the lastly, the other thing you want to remember is, for right now at least, is that you want that little mouse hole in the back of his hand right here. So like right See if you can do this with two hands <laughs> while you still see what I'm doing. Like this right here, you want that little space back here. So you can do as, as he has his hands up here in moon position, you can take a little number two pencil and pass that through, right? We don't want an ant hill and we don't want a prairie dog hole, right? We want a nice mouse hole and then you can pass that pencil through the back right there. Right, so keeping the moons up. Ultimately what we're looking for, see my wrist right here. Now this is this is just like in in this position right here. Those those times where the hand changes and this um, does all kinds of stuff. Um, we, what we're looking for is like nice straight wrist right here. Right, so you see my wrist is pretty straight right there. It's kind of what we want, right? We don't want the wrist to be shooting out like this. Hence why we do the mouse hole. Because if we don't do the mouse hole, if we have the thumb up, see how my wrist is concave right here. And then, right, we have this. So we don't want that. We want a nice straight wrist right there. There we go, good. We got a nice straight wrist, so we got a nice straight wrist over here too is what we're looking for, a little proper technique. Good, so that's that right there. You got the mouse hold, the new thing. And practice bringing that up and down. So you can drop the hand, bring your moons up, because ideally what we like is when he sits down to play, his hand just naturally goes to a nice relaxed position here with a nice straight wrist. Do that for me, and then the last thing, uh, the next step would be to draw a little dot on his finger right here, on the tip of his ring finger, right? Put a dot there, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it up, oh, 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 before I forget, you wanna put a dot on his, underneath the string, second string, third fret. So you wanna take like a little circle, like a little, little tiny dot, and you put it right there on his guitar, and then that way you know that he, that's where he's gonna put his dot on his finger. So he has his bullseye, and then we have our dot right here. We're gonna to try to meet those two things together. We're not gonna to push down yet. What we're gonna do is you're gonna bring the hand up, 
keep those nice moons up. And then what we're, we're just going to touch the string. We're not going to push down at all. We're just going to literally touch the string. Right? If I were to play the string right now, it would sound like this. Right? Because that's what we want. We want to teach him to have a real light touch with his ring finger. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to have him touch the string and get a nice thud tone. You don't want to push down like this yet because sometimes when they push down, they, they think you push too hard. So we do a thud and then the next step after this would be and then just the tiniest bit more and we got ourselves a nice bell tone. Cool. Work on those two things for me. Like I said, if you want me to look at anything, shoot a video on over or a question over, I'd be more than happy to answer. If not, have a happy, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, um, Happy Holidays. I'm you know, forgetting anything. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, next year. Take care. Bye. -bye.